The Realities of the Spiritual World, Testimony of Brother Joseph from Cameroon, we publish this for the edification of the body of Christ, and the supreme glory of Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. I would like to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in reality what we are going to say in this testimony really exists whether you accept it or not, this is why our prayer is that God will open your eyes, so you can see, we will start by shelving you on a phenomenon that is currently on the headlines of social media, our objective is not to judge or denigrate, so we invite Christians to pray, the devil's altars on the roads, in this first part of my testimony, I want to recall here a message that the Lord Jesus Christ has given me several days ago, there are roads which bear the name of sacrificial road. These are roads that offer blood to Satan, these are roads on which people constantly die by accidents. Once the Lord opened my eyes, I saw people on a road, that was renowned for accident for it's a murderous road, people were dressed in black soutans in the middle of this road, these people were saying incantations on the road. In this area, because this place is very famous for accident and death, the words of incantation that the occultists had spoken in the middle of this road were like prophecies that were to be fulfilled on the road, and during the day this is what happened because there were many accidents in this area and several deaths on a physical level. All those who die under these conditions are people who have been sacrificed to Satan, this is why in the prologue I said that. This message is for the awakening of Christians to prayer. These roads are altars of sacrifices, which offer blood to the world of darkness, at one time mystical meetings are held on these roads at night, you will recognize places like this in your locality, and even know that Cameroon has places like this, before there are accidents somewhere, wizards call on demons first to this place during the night, even if the accident happen in the day. So let's pray for these roads, there is a young Cameroonian comedian who died recently, on National Road 3, third most dangerous road in the world, so not to go very far, here is what the Lord Jesus Christ revealed to us, I saw a vision in which this young man after his death was taken by the execution of demons, he was sacrificed, and the Lord Jesus Christ showed me the other members who are part of the lodge in which this man was. The Lord revealed to me that several will die after this man, I saw a vision where he was buried in the earth with his occult colleagues. Know that Jesus Christ still reaches out his hand to you, and what you must do is give your life to Jesus Christ, the glory of men is temporary, and it will pass but Jesus Christ reaches out his hand to you today. God's Children and God's Protection, Psalms 34-8 The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them from danger, this word of scripture you just read is very real, the angels of God truly camp around the children of God, one day while we were in prayer meeting, there were giant demons trying to trouble us, at that moment I saw mighty angels of God come down from heaven, their bodies were like gold and fire, I remember I was addressing a servant of God, when he started his car instantly the angels of God showed up they surrounded his car to serve him as protection, the protection that God gives is more powerful than that men give, one day I was in the car with a beloved, and we were going to the place of prayer, the car we were in nearly had an accident, and I saw a large hand rescue us and the car had stopped by itself, God really watches over us. No, children of God, that the Lord watches over you, he has his eyes on you and he protects you, you can't imagine the glory of God who protects us even while we are asleep. He is faithful and powerful. The agents or Satan really exist, and they make war on us. I would like to tell you some phenomena that I have experienced myself with my wife, and sometimes without her. So in 2021, I was retired in a village and I prayed a lot. This disturbed the dark world a lot, according to the report given to me. In the night while I was praying, I heard the voice of the Lord calling me saying, Get ready, I'm going to show you something. I saw a vision where Satan ordered his demons and his agents to come and destroy me, and the devil said, I give you three days to destroy him, and overthrow him, the objective was to study my life first before attacking, see my weak points, then after that, a woman came spiritually, I was the only one to see her, she was watching me from a very far distance, she had spent one day studying me, 
During the day and at night this woman was with demons accompanying her, and the Holy Spirit constantly warned me of their position. During the day someone had made me angry and my vision opened quickly I saw how these demons came close quickly to hit me, but I quickly repented for I had opened a door, because anger is a large door, on the third day, I saw this woman who was lamenting saying, I have failed, Satan is going to kill me, I want to silence this woman's name, but she was of Guinea nationality and she was around 30, I saw how the execution demons came. They dragged her soul to hell and she was physically dead a victim of a traffic accident. Satan is really ungrateful, even if you render him any service he will never recognize it. This woman had already killed several people for the devil, but she ended in hell because of her failure against the children of God. Once the Lord showed me a man from the United States whom Satan had sent against me. He was prepared to attack me and go to Cameroon to destroy me, in 2021. But when I was informed of the plot, I stand up in prayer to neutralize this Satanist, his mission was cancelled, when Satan sent his sirens against me, the Lord Jesus Christ warned us, and we listened to the whole plot, the sirens of the waters do not always come directly themselves, but they may have a sister who has weakened in faith, or, they will write to me on the internet with very enchanted messages, so I am telling you. There are several demons in the flesh on the internet, one of them wrote to me one day telling me to watch her video in which she masturbates, it was in 2020, other mermaids in the flesh, who were physically beautiful women, wrote to me in email, and I was shocked by the messages, a small summary of what the mermaid wrote in my email, hail prophet. My name is so so I am married, and my husband is cheating on me, I want to take revenge on him. I am very flirtatious and flexible I can do everything on a bed, if you want to try here is the link to see my sexy photos. See how custy Satan is. These messages were in English and I translated them, here are their names, 1 Linda 2 Kimberly 3 Helen 4 Emma 5 Sharon 6 Jesse. The goal of these sirens was to destroy my marriage, but the Lord is more than winner, the victory was ours, I would like to tell you that this moment was difficult for us because the messages of these women were filled with powerful powers of seduction, I spent days fighting against these demons, in spirit because although their messages were physical, they made powerful incantations on these messages, let's be careful, I talked to my wife about this, and when we prayed we saw a spiritual woman who was trying to destroy our marriage, know that if you do not have spiritual sensitivity you will be vulnerable to Satan and his demons, let us be careful dear children of God, the spiritual world is a reality, to be continued.